Hello everybody. This video will be titled Who the Tartarians Really Were. Actually it should be titled more closely The Cradle of Civilization Balicious Focus on the Tartarian Site. I found this website which is a very interesting site. It's um, titled Jet, jetarumtera.wordpress.com I was searching for hyperborean beginnings. Anyways, on this website, there's an article which has a lot of quotes of historians and famous people from history describing, well, who my ancestors were including the Tartarians. I just want to read the quotes, which you can read yourselves, because I will leave the link in the description box. This, I guess, is a precursor video to the next video, which I will title The Pelagian Empire. And I'll explain in detail what that is all about in the next video. Anyways, quote one. Sumerian researcher A. Kifison, he said, The ancestors of Romanians had a powerful influence upon the whole ancient world, respectively upon Old Elada, Old Egypt, Sumer, and even China. 2. Pythagoras, 580 BC to 495 BC, Law 1143, he said, Travel to the Geats, G T S, not to give them laws, but to learn from them. There, the fields are boundless, all lands are common, and out of all peoples, they are the wisest. Homer tells us. Three, Homer in the Iliad says about the Thracians. Their armies were shining with golden shields and their treasures were so precious that King Priam could take back from the Greeks the head of his dead son only after they gave them that famous golden Thracian cup. 4. Herodotus, Histories, Book 4 The Geats are the bravest and most righteous of Thracians. 5. Plato 427 BC to 347 BC. Student of Socrates and professor to Aristotle in the dialogue Carmides, spelled C A R M I D E S, reveals a discussion between Socrates and Carmides where the professor explains to Carmides what he had learned from a Thracian doctor when he was in the army. He said, Zamolxis, our king, who is a god, tells us that the same we ought not to try to take care of our eyes without acknowledging the head, not even the head can be taken care of without acknowledging the body. So, we have to take care of the body as well as the soul all together. Here's why the Greek doctors are not experienced in many illnesses, because they do not know the whole they have to take care of. If this whole is ill, the part cannot be healthy, because all things, good and bad, for the body and for the man in his wholeness, come from the soul, and out of it they flow like out of a spring, from the head to the eyes. Therefore, firstly, let us heal the spring of harmfulness, so that the head can enjoy health, so like the rest of the body. Friend, the soul can be healed through incantations. These incantations are the beautiful words which give birth to the wisdom within the souls. And just so you know, Zamol Zamolxis <clears throat> is another name for Saturn, or Zeus, or Jupiter Optimus Maximus. I'll get into that later. 6. Dionysus the Areopagite, 1st century AD, he said, 
The following will be about the biggest land that spreads from Asia Minor to Iberia and from Northern Africa to beyond Scandinavia, the great land of Dacians. That was actually the Pelagian Empire. I'll go into that in the next, well, many videos on the subject because I will be translating an entire book of 1,300 pages. 7. Marco Merlini, Italian archaeologist about the Tartaria, which is Tartarian in English, tablets and the bones found along with them. He says, the bones as well as the tablets are very old. It is a certainty. It is our turn to think that writing began in Europe 2,000 years before the Sumerian writing. In Romania we have a great treasure, but it does not belong only to Romania, but to the whole of Europe. 8. Friedrich Hayek, Austrian philosopher. Romanians are the people of Europe who were born Christians. In other words, it's a philosophy of life that no church can teach. It's a philosophy that I share to this day without even realizing that I shared it. In parentheses it says, a few years ago the ambassador of Vatican at Bucharest in the Academy Theater said the same, close parentheses. 9. Wilhelm Hoffmann, Description of Earth. He says, indeed, nowhere will you find a power of faster understanding, a mind more open, a spirit more alert, accompanied by the gracefulness of being, like one finds with the late with the latter Romanian. This nation, risen through instruction, should stand in front of the spiritual culture of humanity. And as an addition, its language is so rich and harmonious it should fit the most cultivated nation on earth. It just so happens all our history was robbed from us, including all our material wealth. So we are act Romania, even though I don't live there presently, is one of the poorest nations on earth. In fact, in the last five or six years, more than four million citizens left the country. Considering our population was 20 million people prior to this move, that's a significant move. Why? Because everyone forgot who we are. 10. Marija Gimbutas, professor at UCLA, Civilization and Culture. Quote, or she says, Romania is the hearth of what I named Old Europe, a cultural entity of 6,500 to 3,500 BC, based on a matriarchal society, theocratic, peaceful, loving and creators of art that preceded the patriarchal Indo-Europeanized societies of warriors from the Bronze and Iron Age. It became evident that this ancient European civilization precedes the Sumerian by millennia. It was a period of real harmony, in full agreement with the creator energies of nature. 11. Louis de la Vallée Poisson I guess it's a quote from the book called Histoire du Monde Indo-Europeans et Indo-Iranians Lend Jusque Verse 300 AV J dot C dot. He says the inhabitants of northern Lower Danube can be regarded as the places of origin of Indo-European languages, meaning the ancestors of humanity. 12. Gordon V. Child, 1926, he wrote a book called The Aryans, A Study of Indo-European Origins. He said, the primary places of Dacians must be searched on the territory of Romania. Indeed, the placing of the main center of formation and expansion of Indo-Europeans must be made at the north and the south of the Danube. 
which is the main river that goes from Germany through Romania all the way to Romania to the Black Sea. The Danube was known in antiquity as Istru or I-S-T-R-U. Different spellings based on the languages, of course. 13. Eugene Pitard, 19... He, he wrote a book in 1917 called La Romanie Valaki Moldavi Dobroja. He said, the ethnic ancestors of Romanians claim undoubtedly up to the first ages of humanity, the Romanian Neolithic civilization representing only a recent chapter of the country's history. 14. Daniel Ruzo, 1968. Peruvian explorer, he wrote, La Historia Fantastica de un Descubrimiento. He said, The Carpathians are in a region of the world where the European center of the oldest culture known today was situated. Oldest culture. 15. William Schiller, American archaeologist. Where was civilization born? That was his book, I suppose. Or a question he was asked, I don't know. He said, Civilization was born where the Romanian people live today, spreading to the east and the west, 13,000 to 15,000 years ago. 16. John Mondes. The oldest discoveries of some writing symbols were made at Turdas and Tartaria. If you get it? Tartaria. He's calling Romania Tartaria. 17. Per Olaf Ekstrom, Swedish writer, he said, The Romanian language is a key language that influenced, for the most part, all European languages. 18. The, Roman, the Romanian scientific researcher Gabriel Gheorghe, according to the University of Cambridge, Parenthesis, the Cambridge History of India, close parenthesis, he says, In the 5th millennium BC, the Getic Carpathian space was the only space inhabited in Europe. The Carpathian, Getic or Wallach Wallachian space has represented the Officina Gentium in antiquity. It has fuel of people and civilization India, Persia, Greece, Italy, Germany, France, and the so-called Slavic space. The Vedas, the oldest literary monuments of humanity, were created in the center of Europe. The primary phase of the Vedic culture began in the Carpathians, most likely in Ardal. From Ardal come the ancestors of Indians, Persians, Albanians, Greeks, who left for Macedonia and Thessaly, the Latins, Celts, Germans, and the ancestors of Slavs, who came out through the Moravian defile. 19. Jawaharlal Nehru, ex-Prime Minister of India. Quote, I mean, parenthesis, Discovery of India, Bucharest, the State Publishing House for Political Literature, 1956, page 77 and 73, and close parenthesis. He says, The Vedas are the operas of Aryans who invaded the rich land of India. It is likely that the, that the inclination towards agriculture to have been prompted by newcomers, by the Aryans who infiltrated India in successive waves, coming from northwest. 20. Bonfini. He said, The language of Romanians cannot be exterminated, although they are settled in the middle of so many barbarian peoples, and they fight not to leave it no matter what, as they wouldn't fight for a life, as they do for a language. 21. Ludwig Schlozer. Russian Annals. 18th century. He said, these Volochs are not Romans, not Bulgars, not Volshi, but Vlachs, 
descendants of a great and ancient bloodline of nations, of Thracians, Dacians and Geats, who even now have their own language and despite all oppressions, they live in Wallachia, Moldavia, Transylvania and Hungary in their millions. 22. Michelet, Paris, 1859. To Cusas Emissary, he said, Be yourselves, don't imitate anyone. You have under your feet springs of living water. Do not envy the old nations, but look at yours. The deeper you will search, the more you will see life springing. 23. Andre Armand. He said, Indeed, this is one of the oldest peoples, peoples of Europe, be them Thracians, Geats, or Dacians. The peoples have remained the same since the Neolithic era, or the Polystone era, until today. So sustaining the continuity of a nation by example may be unique in the history of the world. 24. The Hotriv open parenthesis, memoir about the old and actual state of Moldova, academic publishing house, page 255 to 257, 1902, close parenthesis. He said, Latin is far from being the trunk of languages spoken today. It could be said that it is less in the nature of the first Roman spirit, that it changed more of its words, and if I wouldn't fear of giving a paradoxical aspect to this just observation, I would say that it is the newest of all languages, or at least of that in whose part are found less traces of the language of people from whom they were born. Indeed, Latin language comes from this tongue, and the other languages, especially Moldavian, are this very tongue. 25. Husti Andras. Open parenthesis 1791. The Old and New Dacia. Close parenthesis. Close. Yeah. He said, The descendants of ghetto Dacians live today where their parents live. They speak the language their parents used to speak long ago. 26. Bocignoli. He wrote in 1524 at Ragusa, whatever that is. Romanians, about who I said, that are Dacians. 27. L.A. Gebhardi. He said, The Geats spoke the same language as the Dacians and had the same customs. The Greeks used to give the same name for the Geats of Bulgaria, Dacians of Moldavia, Wallachia, Transylvania, and Hungary, and I believe that both Geats and Dacians come from Thracians. 28. Abdolonim Ubicini. He wrote The Origins of Romanian History, Paris, 1866. He said, Dacians are the first ancestors of nowadays Romanians. Ethnographically speaking, Dacians seem to be confused with the Geats of the same origin, same language. About this view, all testimonies from the past agree. 29. Jacob Grimm, The History of the German Language, 1785 to 1863. He said, the Dacian nomenclature for plants kept by Dioscoride, who was a Greek medic from the period of emperors Claudius and Nero, he said can also be found in the background of the German language. 30. The Spanish Chronicles, 25, page 179. The the Dacogites are considered to be the founders of the Spaniards. 31A. 31A. Carolus Lundius. He wrote the Chronicle of the Dukes of Normandy. He said, The Dacogites are considered to be the founders of the Nordic nations. 31B. 
still careless Lundius, he wrote, Zamolxis primus jetarum legislator. He said, it has to be clear for everyone, the ones who antiquity named them of a distinguished admiration jeets, the writers named them afterwards through a unanimous agreement, Goths. The Greeks and other nations took letters from the Geats. We find with Herodotus and Diodorus direct opinions about the spreading of these letters. 32. Leibniz Collectanea Etymologica. He said, The Dacogites are considered to be the founders of the Teutons through the Saxons and Frisians of the Dutch and Anglians. 33. Let me make sure you understood that. The English. Anglians are English. Dutch are Germanic peoples. You get it? Do you get it? Let me continue. 33. Misael Ledwith, ex counselor for Pope John Paul II, he said, Even though Latin language is the language of the Catholic Church and obviously the language of the Roman Empire much later, and as I suppose people don't always know Romanian is a Latin language, I think what is not often remembered is that Romanian where the ancestry of Romanian is from where the Latin language came, not vice versa. In other words, Romanian is not a Latin language, rather Latin is a Romanian language. So I want to salute those people from Buceji Mountains and around Brasov and Bucharest. You are the ones who gave a great vehicle of Western culture to the world. The Latin language. 34. Carlo Troia. He lived from 1784 to 1858. He was an Italian historian. He said, No nation of the ones mentioned by the Greeks as barbarian has a more certain and more older history like the one of the Geats or Goths. The purpose of my work Getic or Gothic history is divided in two parts and one of them shows that the Geats of Zamolxis and of Decebal had been the ancestors of the Goths of Theodoric of the Amals. 35. Harold Harmon, German savant, he said, The oldest writing in the world is that of Tertiria. Romania. The Danubian civilization is the first great civilization in history, preceding by thousands of years the Sumerian civilization. So not only does this man, this German savant, state that, that this was the first great civilization in history, he also states this preceded Sumerian civilization, and he also interchangeably use the words Tartaria and Romania. In other words, Romania is Tartaria or Tartaria. Have I made my point? Just to clarify. There are many maps from the 1500s and onwards that have Tartaria as, as the northern parts of Europe and Asia. Okay. There are many assumptions about the beginnings of civilization. There are many maps that depict many things Yet none of these things really depict the absolute truth. In essence, there has been an agenda, at least since the 1500s, to abolish, to totally eliminate the true history of Romania and its peoples, the modern-day Romanians, whose ancestors were the Dacians, and the Dacians were made of the Geats,
the Tracians and a few other civilizations or rather groups of people with the first group being the Hyperboreans and as one of the quotes said the people from between the lower Danube and the higher Danube is the cradle of civilization Tartaria is the original Romania anyone that may have spread outwards and made an empire called Tartaria as did happen in Russia are descendants of well my ancestors and anyone else who lives in Europe or rather has bloodlines from Europe and as you will see later on northern Africa like the Berbers can be attributed to these people who originally were called the Pelagians but in this specific text this article which I will live in the first comment are called the Geats, the Dacians, and the Tracians. And the Geats were then called the Goths, same people. Crazy? Crazy, huh? For me, who shared a lot of philosophy here from California for a very long time now, well, by my standards, two years. To know that I am born of that land and to not have known this about my country, to know that most people in my country are wanting to leave if they have not left already, considering who we truly are, it's like there is a great agenda to abolish true history. My existence, my purpose in this world is to bring this history back, all with the ultimate scope of figuring out how to unfuse the chromosomes in our DNA to have full DNA activation. <laughs>